past, present, future for how you're feeling towards your ex. So let's start with the Fool card. So I feel like the overall energy for this month is that you guys need to be taking risks, more risks, especially in terms of love. Or your ex-partner needs to be taking risks in terms of love as well. Um, but just take leaps of faith and don't be afraid to do things out of the ordinary and get out of your com comfort zone and get out of your guys' shell and um, experience new things. And if you guys have been wanting to reach out to your ex-partner but have been afraid to, it's saying that you guys should. Um, or it's saying that if your ex is afraid to, then they should. So if you're an ex of cancer that are cross-watching, then, you know, reach out to them. But just don't be afraid to take risks this month. Okay, so moving on to the past position, we have the hanged man, and then we have the ten of pentacles. So with the hanged man here um, in the past position for your ex, I'm feeling like in the past, they were definitely waiting around for things to get started between you two or things to um, uh, kind of get fixed between you two. And I feel like especially they were waiting for you to reach out to them or at least um, communicate with them first. Because I feel like maybe they were left on red rather than you guys being left on red. But again... You can go vice versa, but I am definitely feeling like your ex in the past was feeling stuck and was definitely waiting around for you to make some sort of um, communication with them. Um, and with the Ten of Pentacles here for your guys' position, I feel like um, your ex is focusing on, you know, you coming in, coming in back into their life and you making contact with them, but... And you, I feel like you're focusing more on yourself and even focusing more on maybe even finding um, a different relationship or meeting someone new and finding someone new that is making you happy. So I feel like in the past, uh, you may have um, been dating around or found someone, you know, to be in a relationship with. Or it could just be that you were focusing on yourself and focusing on family, focusing on work. And just trying to get yourself stable. Um, but I mean, it doesn't mean that your ex wasn't on your mind. But I am feeling like you were mainly working on yourself. And getting yourself to a better place and a more stable place. Um, so moving on to the present position. We have the Queen of Wands. And then we have the Two of Wands. So you could be dealing with a fire sign. An Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. But it doesn't have to be especially with this Queen of Wands in, in their position there. Um, with the Queen of Wands, I am feeling like right now, your ex is definitely, definitely has passion for you and is definitely thinking positively about you. Um, but they're also focusing on themselves. They're not allowing their feelings to get in the way and especially get in the way of their decisions and um, get in the way of them progressing in life, but they definitely have a more positive, uh, thought process towards you right now. I did pull a clarifying card for that one to just see a little bit more information and I got the 10 of cups. So the, I feel like they're definitely in a good place right now. Um, I feel like they're happy. They could even be in a relationship with someone else right now. And, um, they're feeling satisfied within the relationship. They're kind of getting their life stable. So kind of like how you guys were here in the past, they're kind of in a way in that in that place right now. Um, but I feel like their main focus right now is on themselves. And if they are in a relationship, it's on that relationship rather than their mind being stuck um, waiting on you to come around. I feel like they were definitely feeling um, trapped in their mind, hoping for some sort of reconciliation with you in the past. But they kind of matured up and moved forward from that. And, um, but it, it looks like they are definitely in a good headspace right now. But moving on to the future, we'll get into that. That's kind of a little bit weird. So, um, with the two of wands here for you guys, I'm feeling like, uh, you could be traveling or you could be, um, focusing on a new career or school, some sort of thing. 
And it could also be that you're make you're in between two decisions right now. You're in between two things. You may, like I said in the past, you may have met someone and you may be still with that person, but you're kind of having second thoughts about them, um, especially because you still feel a connection with your ex. Um, and it could be that you're trying to make a decision between if you should per pursue something with your ex or if you should pursue something with this person. Um, but if that's not the case, I feel like you may be thinking about reaching out to your ex right now, sending a message, or just in general hoping for a message with them. And if you're completely not even wanting anything from your ex at all, even though you guys are watching this video, so you probably are, but um, if you aren't wanting anything from them, then I feel like you are focusing on new people right now. I did pull a clarifying card for this one and I got the Six of Swords. So I am feeling like you're moving away from one of these decisions that is going on in your, in your mind here. And since this reading is about your guys' exes, I feel like one of the decisions is about your ex. And it could be that you're trying to decide whether or not you want to communicate with them and whether or not you want to move away from them in general and get them off your mind or if it's worth pursuing and it's maybe even moving towards um, pursuing something with them. And it could be that if you are in a relationship with someone right now, I feel like it could be ending um, because you may be still stuck on your ex. And I feel like a lot of the times um, you guys could be focusing on the past a lot. So that might kind of hinder the success of a new relationship. Um, that's kind of what I'm getting here. And those are kind of the messages that I'm seeing from these cards. Even though a lot of the times you guys say that, you know, you're not interested in your exes any, you know, your exes or whatever. Um, but I know that they still hold a place in your heart somewhere. Um, you guys are like a very sweet natured type of, uh, sign. So if you hear my cat meowing, sorry, I <laughs> have the door closed and he wants in. Um, but in general, I feel like there may, you may be reaching out to them or something is going to be going on in your relationship or just something with two decisions that you're going to be having to make, um, coming up very soon. So let me know down in the comments below kind of what's going on. Cause I'm interested to know, I'm always interested in knowing what's going on, um, with everything. So helps me connect better with you guys. So moving on to the uh, future position, we have the Five of Swords and then we have the Magician. So the Five of Swords is an energy of someone being okay with hurting someone or someone being okay with conflict. Um, and so it's kind of confusing because it seems like your ex right now in the present is in a good sort of place and they are having these positive thoughts about you. But in the future, it looks like they might be okay with having conflict or they might be okay with hurting you. But it could also be that if they are in a relationship right now with someone, it could also be that they would be okay with um, kind of communicating with you and trying to work things out with you while they are in a relationship in a way and in a way that's kind of deceiving to their partner right now. But I did um, pull two clar clarifying, oh my gosh, <laughs> clarifying cards um, for the Five of Swords and I got the King of Cups and I got the Two of Cups. So this is your guys' energy here. Um, so I am feeling like they are in a partnership or, or it could mean that they're okay with rekindling something with you. Um, and I'm speaking in terms of if they are in a relationship right now, they are okay with rekindling with you and talking to you while they are in a relationship. And that might met, that might mess something up, um, in terms of their commitment right now with someone else in the future. But it could also be that if you guys are in a relationship, then they're okay with kind of sabotaging that relationship because this person might be a little bit jealous or a little bit selfish. And it could also be that they have a lot of passion for you and um, they just want something to work out with you. And they may be okay with watching your relationship fall apart because you become a part of their life. So um, keep that in mind with them. Uh, so moving on to the magician card here for you guys, I am feeling like in the future, you may be trying to manifest something 
with this person and I am feeling like it's in terms of communication with this person. Um, so I feel like in the future, you guys are going to be trying to manifest something with them. It doesn't have to be communication, but some sort of outcome with them. I pulled two clarifying cards and I got the Empress and I got the Nine of Cups. So definitely some sort of wish you guys are going to be wanting with this person. And I'm not sure what it is, but I'm really feeling it's in terms of communication um, and just getting answers in general and maybe even trying to rekindle the old flame that you guys had, especially with this candle here flame. That's just what I felt. And the Magician card also talks about a twin flame or a divine soulmate. So maybe in the future you could finally realize that oh my goodness this person may be my soulmate and i've been kind of like pushing them out of my life because i've been scared or i've been focusing on other people and maybe you guys realize that and then maybe you guys are trying to bring this person around and with this empress here um you feel like this person is definitely a really great potential partner they're um definitely what you're looking for you find them very attractive very intelligent very stable and it's definitely something that you've been wanting or that you've wanted for a long time now um but if you totally don't want anything to do with your ex it could just be that you are able to manifest someone new into your life and it could be someone that's blonde and it could be a taurus um, and it could also be that there will be some wishes coming true for you guys if you decide to wish on something so if you want nothing to do with your ex then um, don't reach out to them, obviously, or ignore if ignore them if they are going to reach out to you. But I don't feel like they will. I feel like that's not going to happen. I feel like if there is going to be communication, it's definitely going to be on your guys' part. Um, so that's basically it. I'm trying to think if I am getting any more messages. Um, but I, I don't think so. So... And also with this card here, I just wanted to clarify a little bit. If, um, so this is the same layout as I normally do for the general love readings. But if you guys are new, um, these two cards right here represent the past. These represent the present. These represent the future. And then this one represents the overall energy for this month of January. Um, this is all about you guys. If you guys are single, dealing with exes in relationships, it doesn't matter. Um, this is just messages for um, those that are watching. So let's get started. We're going to start here with the overall energy and we have the three of swords. So Aries, it looks like there may have been some sort of third party situation that went on. And if not, in general, you're kind of feeling heartbroken. You're feeling betrayed. You're feeling um, conflicted. Um, this month of January. So what is going on, Aries? Like, seriously, um, let me know what's going on. <laughs> I'm curious because I'm kind of going through something similar, but not going to let my energies get in the way of your guys' reading. So it looks like there may have been some sort of, um, issue that went on with someone. If you guys are dealing with someone from the past, or if you guys are in a relationship in general, it feels like you guys are feeling conflicted or just hurt. Um, and if you guys are single, then be careful of letting past hurts get in the way of new beginnings that I see are going to be coming in. Um, so in general, don't be guarded. Like this month, almost all the readings that I'm doing, the messages stop being so guarded. Like... I don't know what is going on this new year. We are all seriously so guarded in terms of love. We are not letting ourselves get hurt. I'm not even joking. Um, so moving on to the past position, we have the world card and then we have the devil. So it looks like with this world card here, the world card talks about a almost like a really positive, perfect relationship that you feel like they are your world in a way. Um, you feel very comforting, comfort, comf, oh my gosh, comfortable with them. I can't talk. This is bad, guys. I'm sorry. You feel comfortable with them um, and you feel like you can be who you want in that relationship. And with the devil card, it's kind of the opposite. You kind of feel chained. You feel trapped. Um, you could be dealing with like toxic behaviors like drugs and alcohol um, or you could just be having unrealistic type of fantasies and obsessive thoughts about this person. So I am feeling like in the past, you may have obsessively been thinking about someone, 
Um, and you were kind of having these unrealistic fantasies where everything would be perfect with them and everything will work out perfectly and be exactly how you were expecting. And um, that was kind of unrealistic. And this was giving you like this toxic environment within your head. And it could also be that someone from your past was having these obsessive thoughts about you and um, they were kind of unrealistic. Or in general, someone is just feeling chained to you. You may be feeling chained to someone in your past or they are feeling chained to you. And if you are single and not dealing with anyone from your past, um, then it could be that um, you are letting fears get in the way or you're just having like you're just in a toxic environment. You were in a toxic environment. And that was preventing something positive from coming in, like preventing a soulmate from coming in. And I did pull a clarifying card for the devil, so and I got the king of cups. So you could be having these toxic thoughts about a water sign, a cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Capricorn with the devil here, but it doesn't have to be. Um, but it looks like if and in terms of if you are in a relationship, it looks like in the past, maybe you were having like these unhealthy thoughts about someone from your past. Um, and you were kind of having desires for them while in a relationship and that kind of created a toxic environment in general. But in the past, I just feel like you were having these, these thoughts that were just not healthy. Um, so yeah, moving on to the present position, we have the ace of pentacles and then we have the two of pentacles. I hope this is making sense. Sorry. Um, I hope this is making sense. There's just a lot of energy going on in your guys' reading. So right now, there looks like someone is offering a new beginning. Oh, also in the devil. There may have been someone that cheated on you, especially with this three of swords here. Or someone just was lying to you in general. Um, there could have been lies that went on and that kind of created you or made you feel um, kind of stuck and uncomfortable. You may have kind of been reliant on them in terms of money as well. Okay, moving on from the past. We have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Two of Pentacles. So with the Ace of Pentacles, it talks about a new beginning being offered to you. So if you are single, I am seeing that there will be a new beginning with someone and this beginning is going to be very stable. They're going to be a very stable person. They could be a, um, a Earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be, but it looks very promising with this person. But with this two of pentacles here, it looks like you're kind of still tossing things up. You're still kind of conflicted on whether or not you want to allow new love in your life or whether or not you're still stuck on someone from the past. And it could also be that maybe you're waiting for someone to reach out to you and you're like in your head, like, are they going to reach out to me or are they not? Or it could also be that you're kind of conflicted on whether or not you should reach out to them. Um, but in general, I feel like there is going to be some sort of a new beginning with someone, especially in terms of love in general. Um, but you're going to be kind of conflicted. You're going to be tossing this new love up in the air. Um, so be careful of that. I, it's kind of a trending thing that I've been seeing that, um, the signs have been kind of blocking out new love or blocking new opportunities because of fears from the past. I did clarify the two of pentacles and I got the four of pentacles and the queen of wands. So the queen of wands is your energy, Aries. And it looks like the queen of wands is someone that is confident and funny and um, intelligent. But I feel like you're kind of blocking your, your true selves right now. And you're being super guarded. You're not being willing to open up because of what has happened in the past. I don't know what happened in the past, but it's really blocking something. Um, so you guys need to like connect with your true self again, laugh more, have fun, go out with people and don't be so guarded and don't be so, um, reliant on money. Stop thinking about money so much. I feel like money is like a big factor. It could also be that you're either you're tossing up two things. It could be tossing up work in a relationship or it could be tossing up two people and that could, so just a lot of energy for you guys, is for you Aries. Like, I feel like you need like 10 readings in order to sum this up. Um, but just keep that in mind. Don't be so guarded. I know I'm saying that in almost every video, but don't be so guarded. And um, you need to make a decision when this new thing comes in. Because if you don't, you can miss the opportunity. Um, and if you are holding on to something toxic from the past, the message here that I'm getting is that you need to release it. Or are you going to be on this continuous infinity type of cycle where you're always thinking about the person from the past and 
thinking about if I want new love to come in. So you guys um, need to kind of release those type of thoughts. Moving on to the future position. We have the Ace of Wands and then we have the Queen of Swords. So it does look like someone is going to come in and offer some sort of love. Um, so just be open to it, I'm feeling. It's going to be a very passionate type of love. Um, they could be a fire sign. They could be an earth sign. But in general, it's going to be very passionate and very committed, especially with the pentacles and the wands here. Um, so don't give up on the opportunity. I feel like if you do kind of shy away from that right now, maybe you're just super guarded right now and you're afraid of this new beginning coming in or you're maybe you're dealing with someone right now and you're afraid of trusting them again. I'm feeling like you may be tossing that up right now in the future. You may, um, they may try again and try new ways to kind of regain your trust. But in general, there's something new that's coming in. And with this Queen of Swords here, it's talking about um, you being super guarded, not being willing to express, express your emotions. I literally cannot talk. I'm sorry. So, and this person is very stubborn. Aries in general are stubborn enough. And when you become the Queen of Swords, it's like almost impossible for you guys to open up. I did pull clarifying cards to the Queen of Swords and I got the Page of Wands. And then I got the Temperance here. So it looks like there may be some sort of reconciliation from someone from the past. You may be getting a message from them. Um, but you're still kind of being guarded. And it could also be that you're wanting to reconcile with someone but you're just being completely guarded and you're not willing to kind of make that move. It seems like you may have a second chance with someone, um, but you're afraid of it happening. A lot, this month is so much fear going on for all of the signs. I don't know what's going on. It's so crazy. Um, so it looks, and it could also be with the, with the temperance here. It could also be that the angels or the higher power has set up some sort of connection with someone that is going to be coming into your life with these new beginnings and it's supposed to happen. Um, and you can't be so guarded. You can't block them out because the universe is setting this up. And if you block them out, then why would the universe want to keep helping you? So just be open and be willing. I know this reading was kind of confusing. Like I'm confusing myself. 